Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. I hope this is my last recording. I, I, I biffed it a few times, <clears throat> some YouTube settings. Anyways, it's Wednesday, November 9th, 2011. There is an Occupy McAllen General Assembly meeting tonight at Archer Park, 6 p.m. Everyone is invited. Um, there's also um, an action or an event, I, would, I guess you could say, this Friday, on November 11th, at Jackson and Jackson um, uh, down there going towards far. Anyhow, anyhow, um, I wanted to talk to everyone today about, give me a second here, the dollar revolution. Uh, shout out to Mandy DLF. She did the dollar dollar bills y'all on our first Occupy event and it took a while for the seed to sprout in my head. Um, I think it finally did yesterday about what is the worth of this, what does this mean to us. And talking to Ray Perez and Sean Elliott, we had some really great uh, ideas sprout out. And you know, one of, the, one of the questions or ideas was how can we improve the worth of this? Now globally, maybe we can't do anything about it. The value of the dollar is rising. Maybe those events are beyond our reach. But locally, there's something we can start doing right now. But first, we need to understand you know, what is this thing backed up by. And right now, it's backed up simply by our faith in it. Right? There is no commodity or anything of substance backing it up. Um, so our faith, then, we need to question, well, what is our faith in? On this dollar bill, it says, in God we trust. Well, the thing about that is not all of us uh, believe in God. So how can you trust something you don't believe in, right? So I think the question is, uh, what or who do we believe in? And, you know, um, do we believe in people, let's say, that we invite to our house? Do we trust those people? And maybe not the first time we're just meeting them, but after a while, do we gain that confidence in them? So if we trust those people and they pitch in a dollar, then we should trust their dollar, right? It should mean something. Um, and I want to back up and give some context. You know, a lot of people are trying to figure out still what Occupy McAllen is, how it's going to be organized, all this stuff. Uh, kind of same questions in a sense, happen in, in the Tea Party. And um, guys, the proof is in the pudding. We have 12-step programs. They're unions of recovery, of people in recovery, and they work. For this, for $1, people can go to a meeting practically all over the world. Uh, there's meetings here in McAllen for these 12-step programs, and they can get the help they need for a buck. And if they don't have a buck, that's all right. Other people will cover for them. So, um, and these programs are democratic, they're member run, uh, the leaders are simply trusted servants, they do what the members democratically can vote and ask them to do, along with some other, um, you know, structural um, principles, uh, this, this, this organization works, it's, it's the largest, these 12-step programs represent the largest global uh, member-driven organizations and the only true unions that I know of in that spirit. So, I don't you know, see why we have to study uh, or, or, or take from theory when we have something that works right here, right now. Um, and what I'm saying is that we can adopt this. I think we should uh, make it, you know, voluntary, but every time we get together for an Occupy event, we should ask people to donate this, uh, you know, dollar, right? A piece of their energy uh, for a common cause. I think it's going to make things a bit more real. But while that question uh, may remain at large, uh, one thing that I think can start right now is that when people have get-togethers, right, at their house, okay, or that launch from their house, let's say, whether that get-together, if you can see this, is a yoga get-together, a prayer get-together, a meditation get-together, a basketball, you know, running, biking, whatever it is, this envelope represents your fund. It's got the date, oops, the date. Uh, the time, number attended, um, how much money you collected, and you know wouldn't be wouldn't hurt to get get people's names and phone numbers down so you can always refer back to who came out that day, and have them bring a buck you know if they can if they can't no worries, uh, but right there you have the beginning of community, um, you have people coming together for something good something positive, I think it's also worthwhile to have a separate food fund. Uh, a potluck, if you will, when you get together for, you know, whoever brings food. Um, again, whoever eats the food, give a buck. You know, if you don't eat the food, no big deal. Uh, if you eat the food and don't give a buck, no big deal either. I'm sure eventually you'll, you know, 
get with the program, as it were. Um, so we can do this right now, guys. And yeah, we could do this with, with Monopoly money, but you know, this thing can already be exchanged and transformed into a bunch of things, right? Um, so let's work with the existing stuff that we have, right? Until we come up with a better system, you know? Let's make the best out of what we have until we come up with something better. Um, that's it, guys. Really, that's the dollar revolution. What we are saying is that through the love revolution, we are going to enable so many services and so many communities and pour love into them that for one dollar, uh, people will be able to get the services they need, whether it's food services, yoga services, meditation services, walking services, you know, community services, right, for a buck. Um, and I think that will spring up even more possibilities as people uh, start connecting these dots. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with people in spirit of the love revolution is that we have many wonderful Facebook groups for people to get involved with. I know when I first came here to the Valley in 2005 and even coming back um, at the end of 2009, uh, it's been really hard. Um, you know, it's hard to find uh, a yoga studio. Uh, it's hard to find a, uh, you know, a dance studio. It's hard to find uh, a bunch of people that are going to do um, X, Y, or Z activities. For a while we were kayaking and then that, you know, it was, it was tough. It was tough getting organized because everything here is new. Yoga here is new. Uh, break dancing, b-boy, pop locking, you know, crip walking is new. Uh, kayaking is new, you know, uh, bike riding is new. And there's groups doing this, but um, hopefully we can really unify now um, and see our collective strength and make these groups even better. And my point is, for the newcomers to the Valley, or for the people that have been here a while, but are quite frankly bored out of their, mi out of their mind um, and are stuck on the boob tube, you know, we have a chance to really make some, some fun stuff go down. And so two of my favorite Facebook groups are Free the People and Hex Effects. Uh, these are free speech forums. Get on there, share your thoughts, your music, your politics, your spirituality, whatever it is, your comedy, and see people react and respond. Um, they're great. I think they're great forums, though, for sharing. Uh, there's 956 Yoga uh, for people trying to help spread yoga. There's 956 Family for those of us that have kids. Um, whether we're married, divorced, whatever our situation is, it's always helpful to have extra hands. Um, there's uh, an Occupy McAllen Arts Committee. There's the association for people that want to get involved uh, at the precinct level, no matter what your uh, political background is, although the association leans Ron Paul, I think so. Um, uh, but my point is that, that there's plenty of ways to get involved. We even have a group, uh, 956 FB, FB as in Facebook, which is there just to index all these other groups. So get involved that way, you know, if you want to help index uh, Facebook. And let's make the Valley a place that is comfortable um, for all of us here and welcoming for the newcomers so that whether people leave or stay, they look back on their Valley experience or they think of their Valley experience and, and they think of what an amazing place, kind of like uh, maybe New York was uh, and what the Statue of Liberty meant to immigrants back then. Let's make the Valley a welcoming place for immigrants now. And um, for all people, American, um, you know, foreign, whatever, whatever it is, right? You're a human being um, and you have worth and you have beauty within you. So I, um, I want to thank you guys for listening and taking part in the Love Revolution and Occupy McAllen TV. And I hope to see people out at the General Assembly uh, tonight at, at Archer Park at 6 o'clock. Peace. <laughs>